Hello everybody. I just wanted to take a moment to walk you through Remote Module 3, which is on Momentum and Impulse. When you enter the course, you should be taken automatically to the Modules page. And here you can see these three modules, which are just collapsed. And then here is Remote Module 3. Here is the video you're watching right now. And then if we just click right here, that'll take us in to the first page and a bunch of text, some different things for you to think about. And then you simply click on the next button. Takes you to another page. And here's some information about how this unit relates to some prior units. And this navigation, simply scroll to the bottom and click on the next button. Um, same thing here, but before we do that, there is a link here to Khan Academy. And so just like in the work and energy unit, there are some pre-selected Khan Academy videos for you to watch. And if you just follow that link, it should open up a new tab and you come over. And if you haven't logged in, then you'll need to log in at that point. And once you do, you should see a list of upcoming assignments. You could click past if you want to. Um, and certainly once you get past next Monday, uh, these will be in the past. Um, but for right now, you can see them all here. There are 10 of them here. And actually there are two related to momentum and impulse that are on the next page. And then after that, there are some additional resources, but those are for the following unit, which is on torque and rotational equilibrium. But for right now, you can just click there and get started, and then you can just go from one into the next. It'll automatically take you to the next one. All right, there's also a playlist in YouTube that I've created myself based on the packets. Well, I should say the packet that you bought at the bookstore. It's like the 200-page packet, and we're in the Momentum and Impulse section. And in this sequence of eight videos, I take you through all of the problems in that packet. And then the file that I created while I was making those series of videos is right here. And so you simply click here and it will open up a window, um, just this little window, and you can make it full screen if you wish to and watch them that way. Or you can open it up in a new uh, tab by clicking on that link. And then you simply go to next. This is where you'll see the lab. And the lab is not a capstone project for this unit. It is meant to help you learn the concepts. And so you don't have to wait until you've watched all the videos. Um, you might want to watch a lot of the videos or some of the videos uh, before you get into this. But you, you can be working on this, watch some videos, come back to this. And um, it's good to start on this ahead of time. So this is due on April 29th. Here's the discussion board for the Chapter 8 unit. I've tried to uh, make these discussion boards better each time, and I think I'm getting there. I'm trying to get a really robust discussion going so that you all get a lot more help from each other during the homework, as you're doing the homework. And so I, I've changed around what you're getting points for. I added some columns here to try to make it more clear. And basically, I want you to be as helpful as possible to each other. Uh, posting part A and B of any any problem. Um, I want you to do at least one of those. Uh, no more than two, though, considering we have, a, oh, I don't know, about six, five to six people in each group. Um, that means every problem is going to get posted, and possibly uh, one of the problems might get posted twice. But for the most part, I want everybody to be posting a different problem. Um, then you can also earn points, just like before, for saying why somebody else's work is wrong, so you see something wrong in there, um, or just incomplete. Say they forgot to put in uh, a diagram, and you could then add the diagram. Okay, don't just say, oh, you forgot your diagram. Say, you forgot your diagram, and here, I drew it, and I have my coordinate system labeled. There you go. Ask a question. You can earn points for, well, a point for asking a question. Now, you can ask as many questions as you want, you're only going to get points for the first one, but and, and you have to do one, um, but that's to help get the discussion going. Ask as many questions as you want, and you are going to get help from your classmates. At least that's the idea. Um, respond with a thoughtful answer. 
go do your best to respond to people and fully explain what's going on okay if you're wrong you're wrong that's okay same thing with these up here if you're wrong it's no problem do your best and you get points toward the discussion board and you get feedback on on what's going on from your classmates I'll chime in every once in a while but I really want this to be a student-led discussion and I'll just try to prod things along every once in a while and uh, try to get it, things back on track if it gets too far off track and then here there's one more way you can get points for um, this part of the assignment even though this has nothing to do with the discussion board if you go to a zoom session and you ask me a question about a problem that I did in a YouTube video for this chapter or one of the Khan Academy videos for this chapter all right and then you keep track of it just like always put it at the end of your homework assignment before you scan and submit it all right click the next button again shows you the homework assignment make sure you read the instructions for the assignment all right momentum and impulse quiz preparation here you can see the practice quiz and there's a written solution you can also watch a video of me solving it and then you click on next again and it takes you to the um, quiz page itself now this won't be accessible to you until Sunday I don't expect you to do work on this on the weekend but if you want to you can it'll be available Sunday morning all the way until Monday at midnight and just like in the work and energy chapter uh, you will download the quiz you give yourself 35 minutes to complete it and then uh, uploading it that time period is separate and if you have any questions or problems about that let me know and before you do the quiz I will of course upload a file right there all right that's it for this module please let me know if you have any problems and also um, let me know if you have problems with the concept so I'm here to answer your conceptual questions I'm here to help you navigate through the module but again this little next button is your best friend. Start at the first one and get keep going all the way through.